Hey, shalawam, shalawam. First and foremost, I would like to give all honors, praises, and all the glory belongs to my Lord and Savior. His name is Yahawah Baisham Yahavishai Bahasham Mahavaka Kodash. Name of the Heavenly Father is Yahawah. Son's name is Yahavishai, and who I reverence. Honors to the apostles that have in the Holy Spirit. And to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the feud of every few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days because we are living in the last days of the last days. This lesson, Salakia, it's going to be something slightly different now. We're going to switch it up, right? We're going to do a bit of talking, but we're going to let the scriptures come out also. And this is going to be called The Game. The Game. Right? Of so called, so called gang stalking. The game of it. This is just to bring awareness for those that are, that are going through this particular thing for the first time. And you're thinking, well, what's going on? I'm going to let you know, I'm going to try to give you as much info as possible and we're going to back it up with the scriptures. We're going to start off on Job first, right? We start off on Job first and yes, it's spiritual. It's a game and then we're going to explain the game as well. We're going to explain the game. We're going to start off on Job 5, right? And jump straight to verse... Six. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord Yahweh. The sons of God would be Israelites, right? Hebrews, and Satan came also among them. So Satan, while they were um, having an internal discussion, Satan came out of nowhere and popped up. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence come is stole? This now this is in the spiritual realm. Right? When Satan answered the Lord Yahweh. And said, from going to and fro in the earth. Are you listening? To and fro. Walking up and down. Right? And from walking up and down in it. So can Satan walk up and down in the earth? Yes. But he can't be everywhere at once. So that means he would have to use who? He would have to use those that have initiated. On the left hand side and these people that are initiated on the left hand side they're they're portals they're portals for satan that's how you get watched when you get watched when when you get what you're getting watched by people that are being used by satan okay and it says check this out and the Lord said unto Satan, Has thou considered my servant Job? So the here it is the Lord in the spiritual realm speaking, speaking to Satan. <laughs> in the spiritual realm, have you considered my servant? And his name is Job. But there is none like him in the earth. No one, a perfect and upright man. So the heavenly father, I already knew Job was perfect, upright. One that fareth the heavenly father and escheweth evil, despises evil. Hmm? When Satan answered the Lord and said, Doth Job fear the most high for no, you know how Satan is narcissistic. Does he fear the most high for nothing? That has made an hedge about him and about his house and about all that he have on every side. So that means Satan's watching his possessions. Satan's watching what he's got. Look, you've, you've made a hedge around him. You've been protecting him. He's living quite good. That has blessed the work of his hands and his substance is increasing the land, even his substance. All of that has been increased. But put forth now thy hand now and touch all he have and he will curse thee to thy face. Say it's that, Lord, you take what he's got from him. And what he's got, he's going to curse you. He's going he's to denounce the faith. All right? And the Lord Jehovah said unto Satan, Behold, all that he have is in thy power. All. All. So in other words, the heavenly father said, Look, yeah, you, you go you go mess with my man Job. You go mess with him. All that he have is in thy power. Only upon himself, put not forth thy hand. In other words, don't don't touch him physically, 
or don't kill him. So Satan went from the presence of the Lord. <laughs> Look, this is what I keep telling you. This everything we go through is is, is spiritual. Alright? Quickly go to Ephesians 6 and 11. Quickly. So there was a bet, mate. And what did these people do? They placed bets on you. I bet I can, I bet I can make him give up the faith. And these people place bets. Alright? And we're going to go more into it. Because I really want to explain the game. It's a game that they're playing. Alright? They call it the game of life. Alright? So this is it's all spiritual. Ephesians 6 and 11. Right? Go to 10. Finally, my brethren, now be strong. Right? In the Lord you have and in the power of his might. So we gotta be strong. Right? Put on the whole armor of the heavenly father. The whole, not some, all of it. Because this game is based on this is a different type of game. It's based on psychological warfare. Right? That you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So you put on this armor, the word, so you so you're able to combat and shield yourself from the wiles, which is methods, methodeia, strategy, from stratagem. These people strategize against us on a daily basis. They plan what they're gonna do next. Okay. Or it, you know what? It gets planned for them. Right, we're gonna we're gonna long with it, we're gonna go into it and all of that. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So you might be looking at people, your people doing certain things. Whilst this person standing here, whilst this person over there, right? Now the program, this the so-called gang stalking, the gang stalking, right? The game, right? What's involved? What you're gonna realize, those that are initiated, right? They're a part of a group, they're a part of a cult, and they, therefore they worship Satan. Now, if you watch, I haven't watched the movie, the game, I haven't watched it. But I've been told about it is basically, this person, right? He gets tricked by a brotherhood, right? And they're playing games, they're playing games with him to try to get him to join but it gets at times it gets very very dangerous i haven't watched the movie yet i might need to watch it right if i can get the full movie right but it's based on games and deception so the thing about the game is very deceptive and we know whatever people are doing it's not flesh and blood but against principalities that's the fight that's the wrestle, right? For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. It's against principalities. This is a wrestle against the, the, the chief spirits that are out here. Chief, the highest forms of spirits that are summoned out to the people. Remember, they're under a spell. Remember, they don't, they're, not, they're, not, they're not in the truth. That's why they're doing what they're doing, right? So there's principalities, yes, or moving these people to do what they do. Now, one may say, well, do they know what they're doing now? Do they? Some of them consciously know what they're doing and they, they think it's funny, they think it's, you know, and others, they, don't, they just don't have a clue. They're just being moved about. Because if you don't have this word, then you're easily manipulated by the God of this world. So it's against principality. So who do we got to fight against? Who do we got to pray against? Not so much the people, the principalities that are using them. And the principality is an idol, by the way. It's an idol. All right? So when you go into an Indian culture, I'm not knocking, I'm not knocking the Indians. What, what, who, who do they pray to? They have different idols, right? Whether it's Shiva or whatever. But well, that's a principality. And they summon these spirits. So this game is based on a lot of, there's a lot of, there's a lot of witchcraft involved. A lot of it. A lot of it. That's why when people get caught up, right, on this whole gang stalking thing, they get beguiled and they fall into a trap. Because, yeah, is there black magic and all that? Well, yeah, but I don't pay attention to none of that. And there's a lot of hazing involved because these people, they, they worship Satan. 
They're in cults. They wear the colours. They wear the blue. They wear the red. They change colours. Right? And all, all that anyway, we'll do another lesson on that. All that all that is um political anyway. The blue, the red, all these they, those are political colours. Right? Democracy, uh conservatives, red, blue, Republicans, um, Democrats, red, blue. All that's political. So a lot of these people, now, now, there's, now they, they, you've got a regular people, even women, they're bloods and crips. See, when you wake up, you wake up to the truth. But really, they're rocking them colours to represent their lodges and their alliance to their cults because Satan knows he has a short time. So people are showing you in these last days, in these last times, who they are. Right? They're not even hiding. These people are not even hiding it anymore. They, they want you to know that they worship Satan. And they're like, well, what are you going to do? But the game is based on deception. Let's quickly just go back into it. And against powers. So there's powers that are working against us as well. How do you think this thing gets funded? The game gets funded. It's, it's powers that are working. And another thing, you know, I realise. Please watch that movie, The Fallen... Watch that movie, The Fallen, with Denzel Washington. You know that scene when he's sitting down in the office? And I, I forgot the name of that Italian actor, brilliant actor. And Sutton enters into him. He brushes past that woman. And Sutton enters into him. Right? And it's just like, he sits down and he was like, well, I just want to ask you, where, where was you going? And so forth. Then he sits down by Denzel Washington and says, Time is on our side. Yes, it is. So he was right in Denzel Washington's face. Why? Because he was trying to trip him out. He was trying to trip him out. Then more people started walking past each other on that movie, The Ford, and it was like spirits were jumping into different people, jumping into different people. Now, it quite don't work like that in the time warning. It works differently. Now, spirits can enter you by people touching you and so forth but this was just showing you how the spiritual aspect of things would work and then it got to the point where Denzel Washington was asking that why was you singing that song who put you up to this and he said I don't know what you're talking about when he went outside and he started to get the funny looks and so forth people are brushing past him looking at him evil and so forth then he, the end woman, he says, well, some things you shouldn't know. And if you know, you wouldn't tell. So there was clues in that movie. There was clues. And guess what that was? Guess what I found out that was? That was all, the, that was the occult. That's what you call the occult and masonry. They were looking at, it, they were looking at him that way because he was, um, he was exposing things that were supposed to be kept in darkness. That's the way, that's why they were looking, they were walking past him and they were giving him them evil looks. That is real. And that's what masonry is. Masonry is a pecking order of certain people from high up, from council relations, from your high priest to your elites, begins with Satan. And they have a pecking order on how they do things and different color codes and handlers and so forth. This is why when you move different, when you change routine, these people panic because the society, these people are like, um, they have one way of thinking. They have one, they have one routine. So once you break routine, you see how these people are. They start panicking because they're, they're not, they're, they're, that's, they're stuck. And that's how, that's how the pyramid works. It works a certain way. But when you change routine, you put confusion into that and that's why they got to get on their phones bring this person i think here start running there this thing is a shambles man you may not do this but it's always been here from the beginning of time from the babylonian empire you had a centralized system you had slaves you had taskmasters and these people whether you want to call them perps or whatever the perps would be the ones that wear sometimes they wear red, they wear red hats Red hats, they may wear a red hat, right? And that's how you identify them. 
Sometimes they walk with one hand in the pocket. Really, me personally, I ignore that shit now because I've been going through this for a little while and it needs your attention. If you don't give something your attention, then it has no power over you. Remember, it needs your attention. All right? And what happens when you ignore someone eventually? What happens? What happens? They go away. When you ignore someone, what happens? They go away. They move on to someone else. Who's gullible. So this whole thing is, 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 is based on your attention and you feeding it. <laughs> okay. Are you listening? Mm? That's what it's based upon. You feeding the beast. Because yeah, it is a system by the way. It's a system. And it's a group, a group of people. Starting with those that have yeah, power. And those below. But they need you to feed into the rubbish. So you just don't feed into it. As simple as that. And yeah, bro, it's people that they're part of fraternities and so forth. And yeah, they've sold their soul. Some of them have headsets, right? Them headsets, they're I've seen it. Bro, I've every there's nothing that surprised me. Every every tactic of the gang stalkers I know about, every every single tactic. They have their headphones, they're commanded to go here, go there. Um they might they might be told to go left or go right. Or go forward because I see it as their phones. Uh, a lot of this is being done by phone. So these are like basically your perps, right? And behind these perps, they have gang, they have um handlers, and it's the handlers that basically um orchestrate the gang stalking, right? And these handlers are like wizards and warlocks because remember it's based on manipulation. And the handler, remember, he needs info, intel on the so-called targeted, empowered individual. So he will send people your way throughout the day. And you just think these people, no, no, they're just regular. No, most of these people are sent. Even the people that talk to you throughout your day, they're sent to you. Right? And they may come over. And how do you know? Because some of them will be standing by you. But they'll be standing by you where their arm is a bit arched and they're looking, they're not, they're talking to you, but they're not looking at you. And if they're looking at you, then they're looking somewhere else behind you, like another direction, the opposite. So they're looking at their handler and their handler is signaling, signaling them and also telling them certain things to say. And sometimes these people might have a headset or a recording in their pocket, maybe recording when you're speaking to them because the handler needs as much detail as possible to know about you so the person that's sending them is basically like a a psychopath obsessed or whatever now when you're younger do you have handlers yeah but then <laughs> over a certain time you're supposed to break off from them so yeah most of these people have handlers and the handlers are telling them what to do so when it comes to things like noise campaigns or whatever you're dealing with noise campaign and Whatever it may be, someone's told to go into a store. You go into a store, then all of a sudden you go into the store and there's about five or ten people in that store surrounding you. Well, how is that done? How is that done? Mm -hmm. That's done by something called technology. Oh, yeah, technology and witchcraft. So there's with this thing, there's technology being used and witchcraft as well both of them okay both of them and they also use control centers as well to find where you are and some of these people their community um i forgot what it's called you know the community security thing so the people within the community they work with security and if you go missing then the control centers let these people know remember they have a different phone as well and they change their phones and sim cards from time to time their phones get given to them and their sim cards so they have the number of these control centers. So if you go missing, they have a number where they can um, phone up the control center. And the control center is basically, you know, when you've got traffic lights and certain um, cameras within certain locations, they see where you are and it gets back to the perp and the perp's able to pick up your location from there. But it's an app they have as well. I've done videos on this. They have an app and it says the target is here and they'll have your face on it as well have your face on this and it says the location is there and so forth would you do this then someone will say would you do this say this to him or do that 
please try to get his attention or try to annoy him. So these people, they're very, very low level, petulant, sad, don't have much going for them. That's what they do, isn't it? I'm just telling, I'm just, I'm just, I can only go by my own experience as well. I can only go by that. It's, I know it might be different for some of you, but yeah. All right. And they just try to get info, details and so forth. Okay. Now going back into it. What am I saying? What is it? What is it? What's it? What's it based upon? What's the, what's the main goal? What's the, what's the goal of it? It's to them. It's a game. To them, it's a game. Oh, yeah, they also get children involved as well. They also get little children involved to do stupid stuff, right? They, they try to they try to sensitise you to children as well. I know it's fucked up, isn't it? And they also get old disabled people involved. They get drug dealers involved. They get... You name it. They get every anyone they can get involved for a bit of money because, yeah, sometimes there's money involved as well to see there's different levels to this thing different levels the whole thing is to basically set you up the whole thing is to try set you up or try to get some dirt on you or corrupt you because that's satan's mo that's satan's mo to corrupt you man that's why they, they try to set like traps and do silly, just silly stuff. But a lot of it is based on attention and energy and them, t them things there. Right? But you just can't feed into it too much. Right? You just don't feed into it. And like I said, yeah, a lot of these people are, they, they're, they're part of the occult. <sighs> they worship Satan. Now, if they can get you initiated, they will try to get you initiated. They'll try to get you to join. Right? If they can. Right? So there's many, it does it depends on your it depends on your circumstance. Now the reason why it's happening, because you are strong and they do see some strength in you, and you're light, you have a light to you as well. Matthew 5 and 14. Matthew 5 and 14. You, you're the light of the world. So you definitely you have a light as and they and they see that light, right? And they target that light. So another another thing, they try to dim that light as well. They try to dim it. But I've I've seen I've seen so much different videos on it, so I can't go I can only go by my experience, but then it becomes a time where it becomes more than a game. Quickly go to Mark 8 and 36, for what should it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? See, so it is based on joining the team. Yeah, but they're not going to tell you that. It's based on you selling your soul. Right? Gang stalking is supposed to bring you to a point of where you're desperate, you need help, you ain't got no one, so... The last resort is ah, uh, maybe I should sell my soul. It's it's yeah, it's designed. It's designed to do that as well. It's designed to do that. It's designed to do that. Right? But but me not sell my soul. Right? Me belong to Yahweh Shai. So yeah, that's one of the tactics. But I said there's different levels. It's for there's different. Or to make you, because there's a lot of bullying, you know, there's a lot of bullying and ganging up and all that. So people are weak, weak. A lot of people do it out of fear. So basically, basically, it's based on you being recruitable, recruiting you. Let's break him down, which is a form of hazing. You know about hate, which is a form of hazing. Some people, some people die by that and break him down to pick him up again. And we break him down so much and we pick him up, then we recruit him, right? And program him. That's why a lot of the tactics that are used also is, um, what is it? What is it? Yeah, psychological tactics, a lot of intimidation. There's a lot of things, but they do that out of fear. 
They do it out of fear because they don't want you to step into your power. All right? You hear that screaming? You hear that screaming? All right? I, I get that a lot. Even the demons fear and trouble. They do it. It's out of fear. It's out of fear. All right? So I'm just breaking this down for the brothers and sisters that are first going through this. Like, well, what's going on? Like, uh, you may be thinking, I'm going to the store and I'm seeing synchronizations. Um, I'm walking or you're riding or you're driving and you're seeing cars pull out of the driveway. When you pull out of the driveway, you're, you're walking past a house. And as soon as you walk past the house, you're seeing someone step out of their door and you're like, what's going on? And when you're walking, you're seeing someone cross the road and at a certain time. Right now, that's the demonic. Rasta demonic. These are people that initiated. Do they, they can? Yeah, they initiated. They're being used by the enemy. The enemy can jump in their vessel. Ninety percent spiritual, ten percent technology. Yeah, they're using technology as well. Their phones, right? They keep a they keep an eye of your routine. So if you have a routine, if you have a phone, the algorithm it was showing an algorithm. He takes this route. He goes here. And he goes rare. That's how they're able to make an a, analysis of where you're going. Okay. No, they're not psychics. Now, they can use psychics. Yeah, psychics are part of it. But they're not psychic. It's just a message they've been sent on their phone. It's, it's, that's why I said it, it's, it's witchcraft as well. All right? If they know you're going to go to a certain shop, well, they're going to be at that certain shop. And sometimes it would get so... These people would get so desperate. Say if you have all right, a town. They would send everybody out into every single... Say if, you, if you're known for going to the chicken shop. They have everyone go to every single chicken shop. Say if there's five chicken shops in the, in the area. They have these idiots going to every, every single chicken shop. We're just waiting for you. Oh, we have a guest. All right? When you start hearing that, you better start panicking. I don't panic, but that's what they start saying. It's demonic cat nature. This thing is demonic at nature. This whole game they play. It's people that are initiated, that have took oaths, that have sold out. And they're coming for you. Remember we read Job. There was a bet placed. Oh yeah, people are placing bets on you, man. That you will sell your soul. You will give up. People are doing that. There's all types of conversations being had about you. Have you noticed as well... These people, they have um, conversation, but the conversations always catered to what we're doing. And they've been given certain um, information because they do have certain information and they can see certain things that you're doing. Yeah, they can. Just like the Truman Show. Truman, he found that he was being watched in his own household. I know, yeah, it might bother you you go to your, say if you have a family, you go to your families, they've been given certain intel where they can actually see what you're doing within your family's household. They can actually see what you're doing. Right? You might be sleeping, they're like, get up! Fucking demonic idiots. But we know, the Lord sees it. That doesn't really, it doesn't bother me as much now because I know the Lord's eyes are what, 10 times, um, 10,000 10, times brighter than the sun. I'm more concerned about him watching me and the angels rather than some, some cretings watching me. Now, if they choose to watch you within, within your household, they obviously think you're interesting. You're like, <laughs> but I, don't, I don't find my life as interesting. I don't. I don't. But they obviously, obviously find your life interesting. All right? They like to watch you when you're cooking and, you know, doing your little dancing and they like to watch you. But this is what they're not telling you. This is what they're not telling you. Well, they're not going to tell you that. They're not going to tell you that they're watching you. All right? They're not going to tell you that. All right? Fucking useless. And um, what else? What else should I say? What else should I say? Um, like, there's so much. There's so much of this. The game is basically to get you <laughs> to sell out, for you to grovel, to cry and sell out. And think that there's no other way. There's no way out. I heard some dumbass Jamaican say that once. There's no way out. Just, just, wait, bro. Yeah, the way out is the Messiah, Yahweh Shai. That's the way out. That is the way out. Hmm? Don't know what they told you. Okay. 
and it's beautiful. They all come around when we come out. So please, I want you to have the right mindset concerning this as well. Like we are like celebrities. We are like celebrities, man. Now we're not. I'm not here to be a celebrity, but we are like celebrities out here. They, 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 they really like us. They, they dedicate their whole time and day to us. All right. Now we're gonna go to Corinthians. This is First Corinthians, um, ten. And jump straight to 20. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils. Right? To devils. See, there more, more of them are out now. More, more idiots, bro. Useful idiots. Right? They sacrifice to devils and not to their heavenly father. I would not that you should have fellowship with devils, man. So, yeah, bro. I can't tell it. Yeah, they're devils, bro. They're devils, bro. Even our own people are devils, bro. They got the spirit of Satan upon them. Right? They got the spirit of Satan upon them. Heavy, is it Saturday, bro? It's the it's the weekend. It's the weekend and they're out here, bro. They're out here. What it about us, bro? These people they're through. I don't I don't know what they put in them vaccines, bro. I don't know what they put in them vaccines. But these people are done out here. Wait, we're going to shut off soon. They sacrifice the devils and not to the God. And I would not that you have fellowship with devils. So the whole thing, no, you're not supposed to be partakers with them. You're not supposed to um, have fellowship with devils, man. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. You cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and the ta table of devils. Bro, I've seen it so much. So much have, so much things have I done and you really get underneath their skin. There's so many different things. Bro, I've... I've had these people mad, like, bro, really mad, really frustrated, and, bro, I've seen all, I've pretty much seen all their tactics, every single tactic they can do, right? It's all about trying to get into your mind. Remember, you have a purpose. You have you have goals. They can see what you're doing. They see what you're doing, right? you just got some envious, je jealous people that come together. It's a game. Now, them, people that join the occult, they, these are the most miserable, pe these are the most miserable people. They want you to be miserable with them. That's why they made a conscious effort to do see what you're doing. But we, we we will elevate because everything's in the Lord's hands. Right? They want to convince you that they're God. They want to convince you that they're everywhere. Or oh, wherever you go, we're going to be there. No, you're not. Unless the Lord wants you there. Um, it does kind of mess with their psyche because, yeah, they can do that. Well, every, anywhere they're there, like anywhere they can be there, but then... When they see us, like, we're doing the same thing to them. Like, bro, vice versa. So what the tactics, it doesn't really, it doesn't really work. It doesn't really have much effect. They want you to think what you're doing now is a waste of time. Uh, uh, you know, uh, no. Right? What are they doing? Bro, it's Saturday. What are they doing? Still invested in what I'm doing. Better get some business about yourself, man. All right? So what else have we got, Baba Kasha? So basically, that's part part of the game, and um, the tactics they were used, the things they do, they have certain sayings. Remember, these are these are hive-minded, programmed, demonic, scripted. They have a script that they need to run by. Remember, Satan has a Satan has actors within his kingdom. All right, and all these people. Remember, I know it seems like way out but yeah what you're gonna realize all these people have a script and if they break that script they get in trouble they all have a script most of what you're doing when you go to a certain place there's a script being done and that script that is witchcraft because it's deceit it's deceit it's deceit they're trying they're trying to script your life that's why they need you to be in certain places they need you to be in certain places certain times and have you noticed when you're not at them certain places at certain times, they get really mad? you got people now, while I'm doing this lesson, they're probably waiting in their car. Uh, <clears throat> stay in the car. Wait until he comes out here. Then pull off. You go over there. You go here. Are you serious? Are you serious? Right? It's all, it's all scripted. So what they're trying to do, remember, this is based on control. They know they can't control you. It's just a bunch of weak-minded people that need a form of, or think they have some form of control. That's all it is. Right? That's all, that's all it is. 
right? So they say things like, um, yeah, when, when we're done with it, um, they say very threatening things as well. Better watch your mouth. The scripture says every idle word you're going to have to give an account. They say, oh, it, it, it's, it, it's done. It's done. It's done. Yeah, it's finished. It's finished. It's finished. It's done. You know, uh, what else would they say? Don't worry. No worries. No worries. Um, they say, uh, they say a whole load of bunch of nothing, bro. And you know, if, if you have a group of people saying the same thing, that means they're trying to sensitize you to certain words as well. Remember, these people, they have a script. It's not real. When you come around, they've got to turn on a script because we are real. They're not. They're fake. The God of this world has blinded the minds of those and he's given them over to this deceitfulness. They have deceitful spirits up on them. What do you think gaslighting? Gaslight is a, gaslighting is a deceitful tactic, which I'm getting less of it now. It's not as much. Right? It's less. It's less is that because these people, they want to live a lie. They'd rather live a lie rather than accept the truth of the scriptures. All right? So they're going to keep up this silly little facade. They're going to do their little directed. And you know it's scripted because guess what? You know they're being told to oh, say something, say something to get them annoyed because... When most of these people come to you, sometimes they'd be in couples, sometimes they'd be dog walkers. A lot of them would go, um, 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 like, um, um, and, and, uh, he went there and he dropped something. And say if you drop something in your house now and they put, and they saw that, they go, um, um, well, you know, we, we dropped something on the floor and, bro, they don't even know what to say when they come. Pro- it's, it's just tactics trying to get your attention. Low lives. But that's what type of people were, there for, were, were up against. Low lives. Right? Now, say if you were, you, were itching your, you were itching your bottom. You just had a scratch. Someone might say, yeah, I feel like scratching today. Yeah, I'll scratch the dog. They're saying it because they're trying to get into your mind. Right? Say if you were a bit tired and you, you, you went to bed... Late and you were a bit lazy the next day. They say, come on, come on, you lazy dog. Come on. Why? Because they're trying to get into your head. Now, bro, what that important? It's like they care what you think. See, these are people that seek validation. Very low life. Type of, it's the game. It's the game. Right? And, um... Yeah, they like to say it. It. Yeah, it's it. We don't like it. Yeah, guess what? They're like, yeah, it ain't like us. Yeah, we're not like you. Yeah, how much I said, yeah, I am from above, you're from below. Like, like, a, like we're aliens. Yeah, how much I said, I am from above, you're from below. That's how they refer to us as well. It, it. But that's all right. You carry on with that disrespect, man. The Lord, you have just gone pay you a visit, man. There's all type of judgments. Have you watched the news lately? There's all type of judgments being issued out by Yahweh Shai. You carry on with that foolishness. You carry on with that shenanigans, man. With, with that malarkey. Let's see how far that gets you. Right? They, they all have scripted... Um, they all have scripts, man. They all have script. They're all just saying things from a script. Most of them have handlers, man. They're not free. So if you don't join them, because if you join them, you're going to be doing the same silly stuff. Do not join them. They're miserable. And misery, <laughs> misery loves company. Simple as that. Simple as that. Right? Oh, yeah, and they hack your phones as well. They hack your phone. So these phones you have, when you're watching something, when you're doing, they can see what you're watching. They can see what you're doing. And that's how they get, that's how they're able to say certain things and try to get a reaction. So say if you watch a certain things, they will mention what you just watched to try and get a reaction. Right? I know it's sad, isn't it? It's really sad. Mm-hmm. Maybe we can do maybe we can do our part two, but it's it's the game. It's the game. And you gotta think outside of that box. Well you are anyway, if you're in your house, that's why the scriptures also say in Romans 12, let your mind be renewed. And they like to they like to walk past us as well to get our attention. They love doing that. They love walking past us to get our attention as well. Bro, they don't exist to me, bro. These people don't exist, bro. At all. 
I'm, what you have to say, I'm about my father's business. And if your eye be single, your whole body shall be full of light. So our eyes are supposed to be single, focused on one thing and one thing all. And that's the truth. Now the game, another thing is, you're going to have people talking, right? And you're going to have the, what's it? The ha, 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 the laughing. Have you ever watched in programs like Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? And just some of them programs like um, Friends. What would you have on Friends? You know that's fake, you know that's... You know that's fake laughing in the background? It's not real laughing, that's computer generated laughing in the background. It's the same thing that people do today. It's staged. It's staged. Yeah, you know them friends, you may watch Friends, you remember that program Friends or whatever? It's, it's, it's computerized laughing. Right? It's computerized. Same thing people do today, it's not a real laugh. It's fake laughing. So you got people, they're not even really happy. They just pretend to be happy. But you can only do that for so long until you get fed up on board and you've got to really live with reality because nobody's happy that much. So you're telling me you get up in the morning, ha, 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 ha. You really that happy? You know you're not happy. Stop lying. Stop lying. All right? And that's just a level of that's just the game that's what you call the game right the game got people that walk walk with their hands behind their back well that, that's the game conformity showing you that they're slaves they're showing you that they're slaves they're bound they kept an oath all right so they're showing you in these last days okay that they're part of these organizations and fraternities and they worship satan okay they're showing you that is there anything else before I shut off? Because we're nearly on 40, what, 41 minutes now? So you don't take these things seriously. You may be riding, you may be walking, and you have a group of people that go, a group of witches that say, ha, ha, ha. Well, that's just, that's demons. That's, that's the devil paying, that's Satan paying you a visit. You know where that's coming from. That's coming from the dark side, right? It's coming from the dark side. You don't take it personally and be like, oh, why are they laughing? It's emotional, that's what it's, it's emotional witchcraft as well. You don't take them things personally. They're trying to get a reaction. Right? They're trying to get a reaction. Right? And really you should consider it a blessing that they're so dedicated to worrying about what you're doing. They're dedicated. And if all this is happening to you, because you, you're doing something right. Can you imagine Can you imagine if it all just stopped? Like, it all just stopped. You probably wouldn't feel the same. You probably wouldn't feel the same if it all just stopped. So it is good because it keeps us on our toes, it keeps us thinking, and it keeps us uncomfortable. So we want Yahweh And it's supposed to... This is really, this is really supposed to bring us more closer to Yahweh I hear people talk about this. I've seen... Bro, I've seen... Probably foul, I've probably seen foul, no, hundreds, I won't say thousands, hundreds of videos of this same topic. I hear people talking about the same thing. And it is good to get different perspective on so on it, different perspectives, and how people see it, and so forth. But my whole thing is, well, how do you, how do you, how do you, how do you, what, what, what's it, what's it, what's it, where is, why is it there? Because the Lord sees everything, right? Why is it there? It's there because it's a trial, and I believe it's supposed to make one better. So if you've been, if you see what I've been talking about for a year, two years, after a year or two years, there should be a level of improvement, and you shouldn't be stuck on the same thing where you feel like, oh well, I can't improve because of that. No, no, because it is a test. It is a test. All right, it is a test. Okay, we go to First Peter's and four. Let me shut off. And to our beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial. Right, the game, the gang stalking. That's a fiery trial, which is to try you, test you. I saw some strange thing happen unto you. Job was tested, right? But rejoicing so much as you are partakers of much sufferings. This is suffering. Yeah, but it's suffering. It's a form of suffering. Right? 
It's a form of suffering. These people, they got, they want to, they want to. Now they do see you're strong. They see, they see you have good um, characteristics, but they want to destroy that. It's like they don't want it to be there. But it's all of the Lord anyway. And these things are supposed to build us up. That when His glory shall be revealed, you may be glad also with exceeding joy. Key thing, exceeding joy. Right? Exceeding joy. So we're supposed to be glad when we go through these things. Not crying and whimpering. So Lord, when this was edifying, I'll shut off here and on to the next one. Shalom.